Hello, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, uh, welcome for the first time. I hope you subscribe and stick around. I have a, it's a mystery bundle kind of thing. This is from Dark and Glam Beauty. They're an indie brand. I came across them on Instagram. They do horror themed cosmetics. They did, they were the brand that did like the Goosebump palette and the Goosebump themed lashes. So we're going to open this up. I'll go a little bit more into this um, before I open it. But yeah, make sure you're subscribed and let's jump into the video. Okay, so like I said, I came across them on Instagram. Uh, the brand is in the process of coming out with some conjuring themed stuff. They're going to have a conjuring themed face palette and then an Annabelle themed blush palette. And like I said in the intro, they're the brand that did, they came out, was it last year maybe? The Goosebumps, they had a couple of Goosebumps themed palettes. And I do remember those lashes. I didn't get any of that stuff. Anyways, they have mystery bundles. They have a $5 one. I wanna say there's a 10, a 15 and a 20. This is the $20 one. It's not one of those things where, I'm just looking for my box cutter, um, where you get like, extra like there's $20 worth of products in here it's just a mystery kind of a thing so it's not like one of those where you're getting you know more for your money I think it said on the website she may you know go over the amount slightly depending on which tier you're in so we'll see it just comes in a mailer and then like shipping and everything is on the front so has a little thank you their information so I'm assuming everything is just kind of in here. I'm going to try and get this carefully. I make people nervous when I open things on camera, so I try. I'm one of those that, like, cuts towards myself. Uh, put that back up there so that I can find it. My cabinets do not want to close because I have too much stuff. So... Hopefully that'll just stay so it's not in frame because that would be annoying. Okay. So I wasn't sure how this came. So we open it up. I've been waiting for this to come. I did film my haul part two. Okay. So this is the last thing that I was waiting on. Okay. So there's something still in here. And like I said, this is the $20 one. This is the highest level that she does. I say she, I don't know who the owner is. So there's, I pulled this out. This came in a little sealed thingy, which is nice. I didn't end up getting the Goosebump palette. So there's a bunch of pressed letters in them, which I'm not opposed to pressed letters. I just never picked them up, but I forgot about this brand. So I am following them now because I, I am interested in getting the Conjuring um, contour palette and the, the blush palette. I like the Conjuring franchise. So we have some glitter and this is from the Goosebumps. This one's Goosebumps. It says Haunted Glitter. I'll have to go on the website because I'm not familiar with this brand. At all. I've never bought anything from them and it just says Dark Glam Beauty and it's got the Haunted Mask. I like this kind of like chunky Glitter. I have a bunch from Apocalyptic Beauty and I use them like on the outside. I don't put these like chunky ones directly on my eyelid, but I'll use them like in here on my cheeks. So I'm not mad at this. Like I said, I will try and link some information because I don't know anything about this glitter. And then the other one we got looks like it's Coraline themed, which is cute. It just says Dark Glam Beauty, but it's got Coraline and the tunnel. My uh, five-year-old was obsessed with Coraline for a year, like when she was three, watched it over and over. So <laughs> I saw Coraline before I saw the mask in the package, but that's cool. This one's just purple and it's got like the chunks, but it's also got some smaller ones. And then this one looks like it's just like the big pieces, but I'm not mad at these. I will use them. I have a bunch, like I said, from Apocalyptic Beauty. It's basically confetti that you can put on your face. So it came in this little hollow thing, so we'll throw that away. And it looks like there might be a palette in here. 
Let's see, and there is a package slip. Okay, and there is a little thing. It says, thank you for your support. I hope you like your items. FYI, you can use the glitter for your nails also. That's, that's cool. I personally love the haunted glitter. So there was a little note. That's nice. Because like I said, I don't know anything about the brand. That's helpful. I don't do my fingernails at home, but I paint um, my daughter's my five-year-old and my one and a half-year-old were starting to paint her toes but uh, my five-year-old gets her fingers and toes painted and I've started doing my toes at home not that anyone cares so that's good to know that you can use that on um, your fingers so there's the card I'll link them down below and I said I forgot about this brand so we have it's wrapped in paper so this is the last thing it would have been nice like for it to be like a double the value kind of thing but I just figured this was a good way to try the brand before I try and get that other stuff I don't know when it's launching oh okay oh so I don't know what this is but I'm super excited because I love creep show that is cool I don't care what this is I love it I don't I didn't look on their website a whole lot like super I looked on it but I didn't look super close I don't know what this is I'm assuming this is an eyeshadow palette oh I love that I love creep show that's cool so it's the same packaging and then we have an eyeshadow palette so this will be a good way to test their formula I'm dropping things on the floor. I think my husband popped in to see what I was doing. So we have a bunch of mats. Let's see, there's one, two, three, four, five mats, and then two like traditional shimmer, like satiny shimmers. There's this marbled shade, and then there is a pressed glitter, which doesn't bother me. So let, I'm going to, I'll swatch these right now at least the shimmer. So that marbled shade in Modeled Kid looks like that when you swirl it together. So there's that. That's pretty shiny. Um, Creep Show, the black looks like a shimmer. I could probably use that as a matte. It feels a little gritty. Um, comic Book was the gold. That's pretty. This is definitely shinier uh, than, I forget the other brand that I, I bought another like horror themed bundle. There's a video on my channel, uh, Creature Cosmetics. I like these better than their shimmers. Their shimmer, shimmers are just more on the satin side, but these actually have some shine to them. So I'm excited about that. And that's not a deal breaker for me. I have a ton of singles. I just wanted to test their pressed glitter. It's pretty emollient. <laughs> Feels creamy. It's not dry. Uh, Creature Cosmetics had a pressed glitter in theirs, and theirs was a little bit drier. So this one, I think you could get away with not using a glitter glue if you didn't want to. I do anyway, but just for comparisons, it's definitely a creamier pressed glitter, and I like that color. It's got some nice reflect. I want to do a video on glitter and then I'll swatch some of the mattes here. I may just end up swatching the whole palette. Let me just bring my towel over because I have some glitter uh, formulas that I really like. There's OK, I'll bite. I'll just go down the back. Uh, monkey paw. The red felt a little drier. The back felt a little drier, but I use this tacky base. The pigmentation looks good. Gray matter. It's creamier feeling. So there's definitely some different textures, but the pigmentation is good. And I'll go back to the black just to see if I can build it up. We have Siren and Skin Crawler are the last two. Skin Crawler and Siren. And I do like uh, Creature Cosmetics formula overall. I didn't have a bad time. That's almost my skin tone, so you can barely see it. Let me go back in. I'll show you Creep Show one more time. It's right there. It looks like a shimmer. It it looks like comic book, but it's 
kind of dry feeling. I think it's meant to be like a sequent shade where it's like black with glitter. So I'm just going to go over it again. You can kind of see maybe little glitter flecks in there so that I can treat as a matte. You can see that one better, but the pigmentation, like I said, I'm, these are shinier than I thought. And I don't, I like the reflect that I'm getting off that glitter too. That's nice. Wicked Sister Cosmetics. I have a palette from there. I don't like their pressed glitters, at least in the palette that I have. They're not very reflective. Like this has some shine to it. Because if you're going to, the whole point of putting glitter on is to get that sparkle. So that's one of my gripes about, I have the Beetlejuice theme palette. Like I said, I need to do a, I've been meaning to do a video on glitter, glitters, different glitter formulas, good ones, bad ones. There is staining, which is good for longevity. So that's the only reason I do the kind of rub test, just to kind of see if you wipe shadows away and you don't see anything, it can be an indication that the eyeshadows are gonna like really fade throughout the day and you're not gonna have really good stain power. So that's a good, good sign. I'm not mad at the staining. I'll go in with a makeup wipe later. So I'm not mad at this, honestly. If this palette was terrible, I would still keep it just for this packaging. It does contain talc, mica. Um, they are cruelty-free, so they have the Leaping Bunny. Uh, this is recyclable packaging. It's got the little, so that's nice. So yeah, I'm excited. I, I like the things I got. So let me know what you thought. Like I said, this was the $20 bundle. I'm super excited. I'll look and see what this palette retails for on their website, if it's on there and what these retail for, just so you can see uh, if this went over the 20, I don't know offhand, but yeah, I'm, I, I love, I love this. Like I said, I, if this palette was awful, I would keep this just cause I like <laughs> this so much. So yeah. I will link everything down below. Thank you guys so, so much. This was just kind of a quick video that showed up today and I look like whatever, but I just wanted to film it for you guys. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Again, make sure you're subscribed if you're not. And hopefully I will see you in another video very, very soon. Bye everybody.